Goes. Brenda back here with more FF7 retrospective. Stopped off at Wall Market, just been sitting here. Hopefully got the stream quality issue figured out. We won't have any more drop-offs today. Um, I also toyed around with the audio uh, settings within the game. Turned the music down a little bit. Uh, when I went back and listened to some of the um, some of the audio from the first like couple of videos from from the live stream, it was a little loud uh, with me. So hopefully it's not so bad. But we are now in Walmart. We got to figure out what in the heck was Tifa doing in the back of that chocobo carriage, and why was she wearing that blue dress? Hey you! Please come in, there's a free pharmacy coupon if you enter now. Oh, what should I do? Don Corneo's mansion. He's a big shot here in the Wall Market. Listen, the Don doesn't like men. So just get the hell out of here. Make sure we gotta go down here first. To the honeybee end, maybe. Make up his mind, huh? About what? Don't make me say it. It's the shop down on the right. The shop. Oh, there's Johnny. Hey, aren't you? You mean you're two? Let me be down to your level. What? Me too. I decided this after a lot of deep thought. My last memories of Midgar, you know. But that guy over there kind of scares me. Right on. Hey, soldier. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to soldier. This our newest girl. So, does he like own the place or work there? And if so, what's he doing out front? He's having an interview right now. All the new girls go to the Corneo's mansion. Not you. Shoo, shoo. All right, so now I gotta go back up to where I was. Try to get in. He won't let me. And then Eris comes up with this crazy idea to dress plowed up like a girl. Now, I wonder how they're gonna approach this in the remake. You know, um, because I mean, it's just a different world than it was back then. You know. Hey, you got a cute one with you. All right, let's go over here where he can't hear us, and he's just going to sit here looking at us awkwardly. This looks like the Don's Mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Tifa about you. No, you can't. Why? You know what kind of place this is. Dress up like a girl. What? You are worried about Tifa, aren't you? 
Come on, let's hurry. All right, so now there's a couple different ways that, that you could go about getting the things. Like, uh, if you get all the if you get all the like the lowest level tier stuff, uh, one of them gets picked. If you pick all the kind of a mixture, a certain like level of them, then uh, the other one will get picked. But then if you get them all highest tier, then Cloud himself will get picked. So. Let's take a look in here. I'll, I'll drop into the weapon shop. Get a good weapon before I go into Cornea's mansion dressed up like a girl. Her my thrill rod. I thought there was a way you could see the... What was that? I just activated something. On accident, hitting buttons. This, this version has things you can activate with the... I thought you could... Oh, you gotta... You gotta click on it first. So yeah, we're gonna get that for her. Pick up the metal knuckle for her. My little armlets. Good thing I stocked up on all that gill. Doing all that grinding earlier. Oh, don't have anything there. Won't get anything there for a while. Hey, you. Hey! Want something? I don't want to hear no complaints about how things look. Well, considering that you're the prettiest part of that whole section of the building. Man, I just can't get over that with this version. How shoddy some of the painted background looks, you know? Alright. This is the dress shop, we gotta go here. I'd like to get a dress. Might take a little time. Will that be all right? What's the problem? My father, the owner, has been in a slump lately. You see, he makes all the dresses. Where's your father? Probably plastered at the bar. You're saying that you can't get a dress unless we do something about your father. Sorry. He's caused so much trouble. Again... The translation of this game is really weird. Just how she was like, huh? You gonna bring me back? Oh, excuse me. Oh. Alright, let's go talk to the dude in the bar. Get him started on this dress while we go do the other things. Hey, dude. Excuse us, are you the father for the girl at the clothing store? I'm ah, the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. <laughs> I don't make men's clothes. I don't feel like making anything right now. Go over there for just a second. I'll try to talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have a drink? He just turns around, like... You know, mister... He always said he, that just once he'd like to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A tough looking guy like that? How about it? Will you make him one? Hmm. I'd be interested in making... He's getting a little bored making regular clothes. Alright, so we need something that is soft and shimmers.
Someone's been in there all day and they're not coming out. Someone's in here. Don't look. Too hyper and bleh. So we need to get him uh, some digestive meds. Order at the counter. Oh, I, I guess I can't. And then? Hmm. Oh, really? All right. So, going to this place to eat, we get to sit wherever you like. I, oh, sit down. What will you have? Korean barbecue sounds pretty good. I'm Go for that. Coming up. And this store you pay first. But what if it sucks? I've had better dog food. Wow. It's alright. Thank you. There's an item. For the pharmacy, you can change it for one item there. The last coupon! That was just in the nick of time, wasn't it? Then we're gonna go down here. Whoa! Don't just stand there, say something, man! Oh, you got a coupon? Well, uh, then please select the. What, any one medicine you like to buy? Uh, digestive. There you are. Whoa! Don't just stay in there, say something. What we got here? Alright, so. Here's where you can buy hypers. And hypers cure sadness and they allow, they, they allow your, your limit meter to build up faster. But I mean, you take a little bit more damage. I usually bring a couple with me. Uh, when I start to grind some stuff. And then I'll bring some sort of, you know, cancel out the effects. Uh, no. Silence, darkness. I think I'm pretty good there. The way that my head is up there, in the, like in the video right here, I feel like one of the, uh, like, heads in the jars from Futurama. So, this is an item shop. Beep, blip. Broken. Well, maybe later we'll come back. By later, I mean much later. Alright, so I can go back and give the, uh, the digestive medicine to the person. And again, if you get a different kind of medicine, they'll give you a different item here. To help you in your uh, in your uh, quest. Sexy cologne. Whoops. All right. Now what do we gotta do? I think I gotta go in here. Hey dude. Got a minute? I need to talk man to man. Really, I, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry, but young lady, could you turn the other way for a second? Why? Harris. Gosh. Sorry, lady. Here's the thing. You know about that vending machine in the end? I'm interested to know what they're selling to us. I just can't go ask a girl to go get it. What? Why can't I go by, by, by myself? I got to fight with the guy at the end. I can't go back in there no more. Come on. Yeah, all right. All right, so now we gotta go stay at the end. Out of my way, dude. 
Gonna get nice, well, and rested. Pick whichever one you want. We'll go with the high roller. We're gonna fall asleep and go back and give this guy whatever it was for 200 gil. I just woke up, dude. Wake up! I got it. A protein drink set! There you go. Diamond Tiara. What kind of business do you have here, pal? <sighs> Apparently nothing. He sold it. I don't know way, dude. Is that a member card I see? Shannon, then your hot little hand, please come in. Who? I mean, sir. Hurry. I'm a pooch. Mix, mix, mix. What should I do? Is he following me? Really? What if he follows me home? Poochie will do it, I'm sure. After me? Really? This guy makes me sick and his eyes are weird too. I don't know this guy's feeling. At least say hi to him. Hello? What a nice day today. By the way, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Cloud, Jack of all trades. Uh, yeah, welcome, Cloud. Bro, still gotta hurry away. Remember, your name is Pooch. Whatever. Man, there's something. <laughs> Maybe afterwards you get the little powder on your nose? Alright, so you get two rooms here or here. These two are taken. So you can peek through the keyhole. This older couple. Wrong, Grandpa. You keep sighing. <laughs> you know, Grandma. Is it the room? I know our son rid of this worse and all, but it's too nice for us. Big round bed, gorgeous tub. I just can't get comfortable. High class neighborhood is Sector 6.
Hey! Don't look at people's places. Queen's room. Whoa! The winds call now. Curse of the resurrected Satan, our beloved queen does not await. This is President Shinra. The time is ripe. The legend has been passed on through the generations. Should we stop him soon? We have a luncheon with President Shinra. You tell him. Oh, wait. Maybe it is a prison Wait. I guess it is him. For a minute, the way, the way they said that, it made it sound like they had to get out of there because I had a luncheon with him. You hear the president's wife found out about this little hobby of his. All right. The group room. We'll take this one. If you chose this room, that would mean you hate being lonely? I'm used to being alone. <laughs> Alright, everyone. One, two, one, two! Whoa! Muscly bound men. Manly men doing manly things. What's up? <laughs> oh man. This could be dangerous. Looks like I would be facing like crisis of all my life. Heave. Pant. Don't be embarrassed. Loosen up, Bubby. Heave. Pant. Let's wash off our all our sweat and dirt together. What's up? So you're the intimate type, huh? Ooh, would you look at that? A lot of dudes in a small tub. Isn't <laughs> bathing great? Soothes you. Oh, is it Bubby? It's too stuffy in here. You'll get used to it. Try counting to ten. Ten. Nine. Hey, buddy. How old are you? Eight. Twenty-one. You're less than half my age. I'm so jealous. So how about it? You want to join my young Bubby's group? <laughs> oh. Not in seven. Six. Maybe in another life. Well, that's how you feel. Too bad. We have a trip planned at a cabin out in the country. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's ten. I'm getting out. Why don't you stick around and play for a bit? Daddy's so lonely. Oh my gosh. I forgot about how weird and uncomfortable this section is. Bubby! This is important to me. Here's a memento of our time together. A bikini briefs. Some underwear. Am I supposed to wear this? 
Well, if I guess it's, <laughs> it's the same teeth, I guess I have no choice. Oh, man. Again, I wonder how that's going to be handled with, in the remake. So you got some makeup, dress is getting made, we got a tiara, we got some underwear. What else? Oh, we got some sexy cologne. Almost closing time. Been there for a while. I, d I went and took a nap before this. Please remember any personal belongings. I have more flowers too, but I get so nervous in front of cute girls. It just, it just seems natural just to get cautious. <clears throat> I asked her for a date. She said not even I paid her a million gil. Flowers cost 300 gil too. She's a good businesswoman. Lots of pretty flowers from Eris. 500 gil, a little expensive. Well, at least I got her name. Wow, okay. Eris, thanks for the flower and one gil. <laughs> I'll treasure this. What I love is that she just got 800 gil. I only gave Johnny one. And a flower. On the house. All right. Got the silk dress. <sighs> Pardon me. How do you put this on? Whoa, what are you doing? That's still not right. A wig, that's what you need. Thought you might, so I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go talk to them. Well, I mean... To each is their own, I guess, but, like... That's sort of like... Stereotyping a little bit. Alright, let's go to the gym and do some squats. You the one that wants to be cute? Gotta be beat big bro. The beautiful bro? No, you didn't know. Always running around here saying big bro this, big bro that. Never mind that, come over here. Squat, get back up. Go back to the ready. Square, X circle. Got it. I don't need no practice. One to sixteen, I win. The blonde wig, so mad. Bro's fist of steel cut to the bone. All right, try and go and complete our set here. Got the wig now. Ready, sir. Mm. 
Miss Cloud. I like how they're arguing about which one's better for her, and then she ends up choosing one that both of them are questioning. No peeking! Well, you peeked for him! Alright, we're good to go. Go, let's go pay the Don a little visit. Damn, your friend's hot too. Come in, come in. Two ladies coming through. know you're here. Wait around here. Don't wander around. It's the first thing we're gonna do. Wander around! Run all around! Closed. Office of Don Canario. Okay. Down in the basement of torture. And you are? You're the one in the park with Cloud. Right, with Cloud. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean, don't worry? About what? No. Don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up together. Nothing more. Poor Cloud, having to stand here and listen to both of us call him nothing. Right, Cloud? Cloud? Ether. No. Can't face it. Bye. Embarrassed? Come on, speak up. Ah. Right? <laughs> Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? What are you doing here? Never mind. What happened after the fall? Are you hurt? Down. Slow down. Let me answer. Just like this, because there's no other way to get in here. I'm all right. Eris helped me out. Oh, Eris did. What are you doing here? <laughs> so... Oh. <laughs> we got back from Sector 5, we saw a weird man. Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. And that's when the Don's name popped up. Right. Don Canario. Barrett told me to leave the lech alone. Something's been bothering me. I see, so you wanted the story straight from Canario's mouth. Well, I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Canario's looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and well... Anyway, I've got to be the girl for tonight. Sorry, but I overheard. You know the three girls is no problem, right? I guess so, but we have two right here. No, Eris, I can't involve you. Oh, so it's okay for her to be in danger. No, I don't want her in. Girls taking charge. Time, ladies, the Don's waiting. I told you not to go wander around. I tell you, women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? Alright, so now we're all three gonna go before the Don to get chosen for this wondrous magical night. Got Tifa back now. Let's go ahead and get her all situated. Um, leave that with her. 
We could take a load off a cloud. Lightning. Take fire. Turn of the dawn. <sighs> Pardon me. Canario is just a very disgusting human being. Which girl should I choose? This one? Or this one? Yeah. Made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... This healthy looking girl. <laughs> Love chickies who play hard to get. Yowza. You can have the rest. Thank you, huh? Shall we go, my pretty? <laughs> I don't know if you guys were able to see, I just got a trophy. It's a Contumus cross dress. <sighs> wow. Well. Finally alone. Alright, pussycat, come to daddy. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Hyper. A hyper. Behind the bed. You're so cute, I never get tired of looking at you. Do you like me too? Uh, of course. You know how to make a guy feel good. Then, then, then what do you want to do? Oh, God. Uh, w whatever you want, Daddy. Oh, man, I can't stand it. D d give me a kiss. Uh. Uh. Okay. No. Just a minute. What the hell? Who goes there? Cloud. Were you really? No. <laughs> Blah. A man. What's going on here? Shut up. We're asking the questions now, sir. What did your assistants find out? Talk if you don't tell us. I'll chop it off. Whoa. Not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. So talk. Main to find out where the man with the gun arm was. That's what I was ordered to do. By whom? No, if I told you that, I'd be killed. Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll rip it off. Wah! Heidegger! Head of Peace Preservation! Head of Peace Preservation. Did you say the Shinra? What are they up to? Talk! If you don't tell us. I'll smash it. You're serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around either, you know. Shinra's trying to crush a small rubber group called Avalanche. Been and want to infiltrate their hideout. And they're really going to crush him. I mean, literally. We're breaking the support and holding up the plate above them. Break the supports. You know what's gonna happen. The plate will go ping, and there it's, everything's gonna go bam. Heard her hideouts in Sector Seven slums. Just glad it's not here in Sector Six. So earlier, when when they mentioned about how the you know the the, uh, the city's on a big plate and they have different sectors, Shinra's gonna destroy the support and drop the plate on top of the entire slums to get rid of them. And while that seems extreme, 
President Shinra right now, like, as smug as he was acting earlier, is scared to death. Because... There was an avalanche before this one. And it was much more... Damaging, or risky, or... What's the word I'm looking for? The old avalanche really hurt Shinra, and killed people, and did some... They were pretty extreme. Barrett formed this new group, named it after that group, as a continuation, but quite literally, compared to them, they're just nothing. They're nobodies. And Sh President Shinra doesn't really know that. I mean, he doesn't really know this isn't the same group or offshoot of. So he's scared. And this shows you how scared he is. So now we gotta go back to Sector 7 and warn everybody. Just a second. Shut up. I don't want to take a second. What do you think a scum like me babbled about the truth? Is it because I've given up on life? I'm sure I'll win or I'm clueless. Sure I'll win. Right. Speaking of Heidegger, there he is right there. How are the preparations going? Yeah, ha ha. Smoothly, very smoothly. I signed the Turks to this. President, are we really going to do this? Simply destroy a group with only a few members? What's the problem, Reeve? You want out? N no. But as head of Urban Development Department, I've been involved in the building and running a Midgar, that's why. Reeve, flush your personal problems in the with the rest of your crap. The mayor's against this anyway. Mayor? He just sits in this building all day feeding his face, and you still call that a mayor? If you'll excuse me, sir. So, Reeve is against this. He's like... Reeve is like the one somewhat sensible dude in the entire company. You're tired. Why don't you take a couple days off and go somewhere? We'll destroy Sector 7 and report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll send in the rescue operation care of Shinra Incorporated. So not only are they going to do that, they're going to blame it on Avalanche to, to squell any sort of underground support they might have. This is one of the really interesting boss fights of the of the game where the boss actually inflicts damage on himself when he attacks you. has also put her into sadness.
it goes. Alright, so we gotta make it to the pillar. Try and save Barrett, Marlene, the rest of Avalanche. Extra hyper, I can burn that. Which one is this? Steel! So, out of us, we still use luck. Area, the train graveyard, or somebody where we can steal a weapon for Aerith. So when you have the all materia equipped with the curative materia, if you hit the L1 button or R1 button, when you're in the menu, it'll work for that. So good to know. Go through the train graveyard. Go in here. High potion in the trash can or the barrel. Might as well save while we're at it just to make sure. Should be alright in here. High potion.
gonna re-equip the all materia to cloud for ice. Get off the cover, I'll give him back steel. I'll give her cover. And that way I could work up Cloud's uh, kill kill list or kill rank or whatever you want to call it. Echo screen that cures uh, silence. Potion. Try this on for size. Mm, not, not a good plan. Ice cheers the dragon people. Bolt work. Thirty-four. Not worth a crap. Look how good this train looks compared to the rest of everything. I wonder if we gotta, you know, use it. Man, that just looks so ugly. The backgrounds. Yeah, I want to say that the encounter rate for that thing that we can steal from is not the highest. Only 20? Oh, fire. How's that go for you? There you go. 56.
that gained. That was her second level one. So Seal Evil... I don't remember exactly what it does. Constrains and stops the magic of all opponents. So, essentially... Uh, inflicts a silence. Er, and I also think in some cases it'll do stop. Kind of like what Cloud does with his uh, cross -slide. First level two. Radio. So now what we do, we go to limit, we get set, and we get blade beam. So with that, now we gotta use blade beam like eight times to get Clem Hazard or, or whatever. I'll go ahead and get the all materia off this guy right now. Uh, put it back on you. Give everybody a good heal. That is one blurry ladder. Nope, not yet. Oh, dog. I heard a rumor the plate was going to fall, crushing this station. Work tested for so many years, but I just can't bear to leave it. Well. Sorry about you. Gunfire. Top, help him. Cloud, sorry, it wasn't any help. I'm going up. Eris, you look after Wedge. Alright, so I gotta give me back that materia. And she did. So. Now she's gonna be my healer. <laughs> Making the paper stuff. Well, Dad, gum it. My strange and wonderful little face. I 
We didn't make it very far up the ladder. You don't care how this little planet? You're wounded. Thanks, Cloud, but don't worry about me. Barrett's up top. Helicopter dudes! Switch the There we go. Okay. Get a cover on him so that way I can work on that blade beam. Feeling down on herself, but So we got good old Barrett back. Give him some of this stuff here. Okay, we need him fire. Pal Reno from earlier in the slums. Our first 
counter with the Turks here. So when he does that, you actually can't attack. You gotta actually attack the pyramid to let the person inside attack. <laughs> 